Hey folks, it's Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium, coming to you with your weekly horoscopes for all zodiac signs, sun, moon, and rising for Monday, November 2nd to Monday, November 9th. I am a Taino Arawak, a psychic, a medium, and I use the planetary movements to help guide me in whatever information your particular zodiac sign needs to know about so that you can maximize your prosperity. Enjoy. Aquariuses, what is going on with you this week? Monday the 2nd, Tuesday the 3rd, into Wednesday the 4th. We have a mutual theme on all three of these days. Having to do with you pushing your agenda forward, speaking your truth, and dealing with a situation or relationship that requires correction. It requires you dealing with things that have been swept under the carpet or skeletons in the closet that need to be sorted through. Now, on Monday the 2nd, this breaks down a little further. There's talk of someone communicating through disguised words and some challenges in relationship with others. Now, on Tuesday the 3rd, this breaks down a little further. If you are unwilling to deal with whatever business has been swept under the carpet, it may actually affect your money or your resources. So don't blow that off. Wednesday the 4th into Thursday the 5th, there's a mutual theme on both of these days having to do with you needing to stay the steady course, nose to the grind, keep a positive attitude moving forward. You do seem to be having some type of a gift, a little bit of a lottery aspect, uh, happiness, joy, travel or adventure coming to you. On Thursday the 5th, for many of you, it's going to be later into the afternoon and the evening, depending Aquarius, the sun, moon, or rising. Friday the 6th, Saturday the 7th, Sunday the 8th, mutual theme on all three of these days, having to do with you skipping along, looking very childlike, and moving forward in your life, especially on Saturday the 7th. But it's really all three of those days. And this has to do not only with ease of the prosperity and enjoyment in the work that you're doing, but also you tapping into your inner child and being willing to say, no, I deserve it. Be childlike in the way that you share with others, but also in the way that you are um, willing to spoil yourself with whatever feels good. There's also talk on Saturday the 7th of karma. This is a front row seat to the karma show or karmic delivery in some way. If there's something that you didn't do or you did wrong, it could be coming back onto you, but it may involve others who did you wrong and you being able to witness or directly receive some type of benefit from that and spirit says it's time it's time the time is up sunday the 8th there's talk of you needing to be introspective you seem to be going through some type of a spiritual test and you may need to resolve how you're feeling emotionally by going inward being introspective and allowing yourself to question where this is coming from and what it really means ultimately in terms of lessons and growth. Monday the 9th, there's talk of you shutting a car door, but you can't drive away. You cannot find your keys. What this is going to mean is that you're entering into a bit of a power position. But even though you're ready to go, that's what the car is, and you're behind the wheel, you don't have the keys, you can't leave just yet, or you're waiting on some type of a circumstance to follow through, to play out so that that key can be brought to you, or you may have to at some point go out and get it. There may be more work to be done here, obviously, before you can evolve and take advantage of this prosperity, but it is the beginning stage, and I do feel really good, actually, about that as a power symbol. Aquarius, have a great week week.